Hi guys, it's Monday here in the Ping Respective. I'm your host, Mo, and this week we're talking about numerology. So my source for all the information I'm going to give you guys today is the Idiot's Guide to Numerology. And it's actually a really um, easy to follow book, obviously. And I, I highly suggest it. I've been, been reading through it and, you know, looking up little things here and there. And um, I really like it, actually. So to just to give you an idea of what numerology is, according to the Idiot's Guide to Numerology, it is the language of numbers as well as a system of relating numbers and names to teach us about the human condition. Kind of confusing. The best way that I found out to think of it as is if you look at it like um, like when we're born and we're giving our, given our horoscopes. Horoscopes are basically planned out according to the vibrations of the universe during that time. This is why we're kind of able to get a general idea of what per people's personalities are like based simply off of their horoscopes. Because when we're born, underneath that horoscope, we take on the vibration that's going on in the universe at that time, and there sets our personalities, likes, dislikes, whatnot. It's the same kind of thing when it comes to numerology. Uh, numbers carry vibrations, just like how everything else does. Um, when you are born on a certain day, those numbers carry a vibration that add into who you are and what your life is going to be like. Um, the letters in your numbers or the numbers in your letters of your name um, carry vibrations and when those are all added up give you more information about yourself or your future life, your path, whatnot. So the big things I want to go over today with you guys are the five core numbers. And the five core numbers are the destiny number, life path number, personality, maturity, and soul numbers. So first let's go over the life path number. And the life path number is what's going to help you make decisions and kind of give you an idea of what kind of road you should follow along. Uh, you find out your life path number through your birthday. So for example, my birthday is April 29th of 1988. So we're going to take the month, 0, 4, add them together, get the number 4. Take the day, 2, 9, add them together, you get 11. Add those two numbers, because we need to get small numbers, you get the number 2. Moving on to the year, adding each number individually together, we get 26. And when we add 2 and 6 together, it's 8. So my three numbers from for my month, day, and year are 4, 2, and 8. I add all those together, and I get 14 adding 4 and 1 together, and I get 5. So my, my my life path number is 5. Obviously, yours might not be a 5, and I'm not going to read, you know, what mine says to you guys or anything. It makes the video very long, and nobody wants to hear that right now. So, but um, I will put at the end of this video a little, uh, like, cheat sheet, little grid that you can look at to kind of get an idea of the different um, main aspects or main bullet points of each number and whatnot. And Demolition is snoring. I don't know if you guys can hear that. He's very loud. So next we're going to do the destiny number. And the destiny number is figured out by adding the numbers in your name together. Um, and the destiny number is looked at as being what your purpose is in life in general. So uh, the best way to find out the how the numbers work and everything like that is to take a piece of paper, number it 1 through 9, and then under each number, put a letter and go through the entire alphabet. So there should be three letters under each number, except for number nine should only have two. Um, and then go through and decipher out your name. If you are married, this is based off of your birth name. So you should use, if you're married uh, and have taken on your spouse's name or your significant other's name, you need to use your uh, your maiden name. So my full maiden name and everything is Maureen Linnergard. Um, and when I add all of that together, I got a destiny number of eight. Again, so uh, my total number when it was all put together was 89. Whatever that big number is that you get, you need to put together, which got me 17, and then put it together again, which got me 8. Next is your soul number, and your soul number is figured out by adding up 
the vowels in your name. And the soul number is used to find out what your heart's desire is. If you're someone with a Y in your name, and, you know, that comes up to the whole thing of is Y a vowel or whatnot, um, Y is considered to be a vowel when doing numerology when uh, it is the only Y that has a vowel uh, sound in the syllable. Um, some Y names, just to give you some examples that they have listed in this book, are Amy, Betsy, Bobby, Dusty, Ellie, Henry, um, Lily, Sandy, Sally, Patty, uh, Toby, Stacy. So um, if there's more than one Y in the name, but one of the Ys doesn't give a vowel sound to the syllable, do not include that Y is basically what this, what this is saying right here. So when I add all of mine together to get my soul number, all the vowels in my name, I got the number 29, uh, added together gets you 11. Next is finding out your personality number. And your personality number is found out by adding the consonants in your name together. So anything that's not A, E, I, O, U, and Y, which we already covered, uh, whether or not it's considered a vowel or a consonant. So I put all mine together <clears throat> and got the number uh, 60 total. So that gave me a 6 as my personality number. The fifth and final core number is the maturity number. And this is found out by adding your birth name to your birth date and uh, is looked at as the way to find your true self. Um, so when I take the my full name, full birth name number and I take my uh, birthday number, I get the number four. Easy way to figure this out is to add your destiny number together with your life path number and then if that gets you a, like a teen number or what have you, you add those together and that is your maturity uh, number. So I just wanted to give you guys those quick little formulas and everything so that you can have fun figuring it out for yourself. Um, it was actually very interesting, slightly frustrating, but a little interesting to add all these things together and see what my numbers were. If you don't have the Complete Idiot's Guide to Numerology, there are plenty of numerology sources online. So when you find out what all your numbers are, you can go online and look them up. Um, simply by typing in things like uh, destiny number eight and maturity number four or whatever your numbers are. Um, I hope that that gave you guys something to do for this week and hopefully the, it, you'll find it to be as interesting as I did. Um, a lot of stuff that I read in the book when I looked up all my numbers was very, very, um, really close and, and very interesting to look at. Just like, you know, when you read about your, uh, your horoscope for the first time, really. So, um, I hope you guys found it interesting. I will be putting up the little grid for you guys um, about each number, the bullet points of those numbers. And other than that, I will see you guys next week. Have a great week and weekend and aho.